Welcome to my solar addiction. Today's video EG4 all weather wall battery outdoor install. All right, so I kind of top balanced all my batteries. Everybody should be at 100%. 100%. 100%. And these two batteries are about to go outside, so I need to cut a hole in the wall and I need to disconnect them for a while till I make them make the move, put them outside. All right, putting in the Unistrut for the batteries that are gonna be on these pedestals. And uh, these wires are going to the Delta Pro inside that's running my pool pump. So I got the bottom one put in. Now I gotta get the top one. All right, I got my two pieces of 10 foot Unistrut up on the wall. And then I just need to do the verticals for the batteries, but we're getting there. Today's video is sponsored by Signature Solar. Want your electric bill to be lower? Call Signature Solar. Now, well, got one bracket up. Wish I would have recorded that. But like a moron, I didn't press record. Good job, Dave. That was time well spent. You must be the... That's right, gringo. <laughs> the killer bees. All right, time to put this hole in the wall, which I've been kind of dreading for a little while because I got wasp I'm dealing with outside, but here we go anyway. First piece out. That's a nice clean hole, Papa.
So my hole was a little bit off. So I got a piece of one by and put over it and then drilled through that to line it up. What a great fix for that problem. All right, I got my uh, conduit going in through the wall. It was a battle because I kept battling with wasps that I'm allergic to. Now I got to seal in around here because the wasp will be trying to get in through there. And then I got to do the conduit between the two batteries, and then run the cables and make sure it's long enough. Otherwise I got to be buying some more two watt cable. But got another step done. So I'm about to shut the system down. Batteries are at 100%. And what we're about to do is finish connecting the batteries that are outside now. Power is gonna come through here, the battery cables. I've got this that's gonna be attached to our wiring trough here. So I need to cut a hole in the side here. So I've got it lined up here where I wanna put it, marked it. I'm gonna drill a pilot hole first. And we go again. Now you see why I got the towel there? These little metal shavings fly everywhere. Make sure you wear your eyewear, because I got mine on. Get it in the hole. Screw the other side on. And that's... It's pretty close to center, but I need to go up that way a little bit. So I'm going to push up that way and screw it in. I always like to grab it right when it's at the end because it'll go falling on the ground. And I've had it hit me in the leg one time. There we go. And this baby's heavy. All right. So now I want to make sure all of this is going to line up. This isn't secure, but these two are already done. And that's going to go. I think I'm ready. Drum roll. Get this in there good. All right. Get it on there. Primer. Mint. Shove this on. And we go up and in. That worked out better than I thought. All right, now I got a place for my battery cables to run through. to go outside on the patio. All right, so now I've got to run these battery cables to outside batteries, but I did a trial run before I finalized the uh, conduit run, and I need to make the battery cables a little bit longer. So I've got some scrap battery cable. I got these two watt splice connectors, butt slice connectors to extend the battery cable. It's the difference between using these and some scrap and to buy all new cable would have cost me 240 something dollars. So I'm going to try the butt splice connectors. But first I got to disconnect the cables I need to lengthen. I need to take them all the way loose though. I do need to loosen them though. Got one. There you go. Alright, so I got my negatives. The cool thing about lengthening the positives is all I got to do is disconnect this side, leave these on there, make my extension on this end. These are good retightening while I'm here. Here's the original cables, and this is how much longer I need them to be. So we're going to cut these ends off and then splice these two where those ends would normally be to lengthen them. I've already got the lugs on the end to connect to the power ends. All right, we're going to work on the negatives first. So I'm going to need two 
of the shrink wraps, two of the connectors. There we go. Let us pray. We've never done this before. Oh Lord, please let this work. That should fit in there just right. Let's do this side now. Let's see what she looks like. That is very good. And then we'll just do that. Yeah. Trusty heat gun. Good enough. Well, in between getting chased by a wasp, I was able to get the battery cables at least into the house. Try to get this through here. More slack on the other end if I need it. We'll find out soon enough. Come on, baby. There you go. Come on. Come on. There you go. Man, I need more slack than I thought. That's good. More is better than not enough. I can tell you that much. cover back on because that was a pain in the butt the last time. So I've got my uh, battery cables from outside run through my two inch conduit down through here. I guess that wasn't a great shot in the world. And it comes out here, I'm gonna connect here. I've already got my uh, negatives hooked up, which we saw earlier, but I just ran my comm cables. This has gotta be connected together with a coupler and this black wire now is going to run all the way through here to connect or it's going to meet up to this cable which comes from up here to the LLV2s in this rack. So that'll complete the loop. I just got to run them through these conduit boxes on the top of these Power Pros. All right, so I got my batteries finalized. Two inch conduit, battery cables, comm cables running in. All set up paralleled to the bus bars grounded looking good looking good and we're set up for a third battery when that happens in the future sometime awesome thank you for watching Hope you enjoyed our video.